Welcome everybody to our yin yoga practice today, cultivating inner stillness. My name is Eleni and thank you for joining me. We will need two yoga blocks for this practice and we'll begin on our backs in our banana pose. We'll start by shimmying the body over to the right side of the mat, bringing our left heel to the left corner, followed by the right heel, either crossing over or next to the left. Start to work that left shoulder down a couple inches here so that we're creating a deep C curve on the right side of the body. The right arm may float up, the palm facing up and the left hand resting on the belly. Finding a neutral place for the head and the neck or you might gaze over to the right. Noticing here the length through the right side of the body Hence why we call it banana pose. So taking our time to get adjusted here in our first shape. Feeling some sense of groundedness here. And then slowly feel your awareness moving into the physical body. If you would like to bring that left hand to clasp that right wrist, feel free to do so here. So as we move into our first shape, drawing awareness to the ebb and flow of our natural breath, Awareness to the physical meeting points between the body and the floor. And noticing how the earth is holding the body here, supporting our practice, supporting the space that we're in. As our theme today is cultivating inner stillness, just take that body scan here. Notice if there's any points of tension or gripping. And we can do the same thing mentally, taking that mental scan. And without any judgment, just noticing if there's any gripping or distraction. And then simply allowing the intention to arise that we carve this space to cultivate inner stillness, inner quiet, inner well-being without any judgment of what arises. So breathing into that intention, if that feels organic to you, and if not, please set your own intention or nothing at all. And let's slowly begin to move out of this shape, uncrossing the ankles, releasing the arms, bringing the hips underneath the shoulders. The spine is nice and long. We'll take a mini corpse pose here just to feel the rebound effect of that lengthening on the right side of the body. Observing how the sides feel different. And let's begin to move into the other side, shimming the body to the left side of the mat, right heel to the right corner, followed by the left. Left arm comes up and overhead as the right palm rests on the belly. Or you're welcome to take that bind here, left palm clasps the right wrist. I'm sorry, right palm clasps the left wrist. <laughs> And then back of the head is soft or the gaze falls to the left or the right. 
So really just make this your own practice, your own pose. Remembering that all of these cues are suggestions and you know your body best. If anything feels uncomfortable, if the body is cueing you to come out of a certain posture or take a modification, use a prop that I didn't suggest, please listen to your body as your greatest teacher. And then here we allow that stillness to arise. That inner wellspring. Our inner resource. Knowing that whatever is going on on the external, we have this anchor and this space that we can come back to to quiet the storm, to soften and surrender into the angst or the chaos that may be happening externally. And by doing this personal work, you are helping to heal and you are affecting the outer world and those around you. Letting that breath rise and fall naturally and then slowly releasing the shape when you're ready, coming back into our mini corpse pose. Feeling that side body stretch on the left and noticing how the sides may feel balanced or what sensations arise. Gently hugging the knees in and we'll take a happy baby pose here just for about a minute. So let's find the happy baby that works for our body, keeping our shoulder blades and the back of the head on the earth. If you can grab the outer edges of the feet without scooping the tailbone up or the shoulder blades off the floor, feel free to do that. Otherwise, you might start to grab the outer shins or work your way down the leg, finding what's accessible here. Couple more breaths here. And releasing. We'll stay on our backs for our next pose. This one I like to call pretzel pose. So we're gonna bend that right knee and scoop it under the left hip and then use your left hand to just gently hold the top of the right foot. We'll keep that left foot on the ground, the knee bent for now, and just notice how that nice, deep front of the thigh stretch gets activated here. And then if you want a little bit more intensity, you can draw your left knee into the chest. And here you might use that right hand to simply pull the knee closer to the torso. This may be way too intense, especially this early. So just using your discretion, noticing what feels right.
And taking just another breath here. And then releasing that left foot if you have the bind and then the right. You can take big windshield wipers here, right to left, if you like movement, or you can send the legs long, heels to the corners of the mat for that mini corpse pose. And coming to the other side, left heel comes under that right hip, pretzel pose right foot can stay rooted to the earth you can stay here the entire hold noticing how this side may feel different and if we want to add a little bit more draw that right knee into the chest using your left hand to guide the knee towards the body I'd like to read a quote by Mirabai, read from Heart Yoga. Oh friend, understand, the body is like the ocean, rich with hidden treasures. Open your innermost chamber and light its lamp. Within the body are gardens, rare flowers, peacocks, the inner music, Within the body, a lake of bliss. On it, the white soul swans take their joy. So it's when we do take this space, this inner quiet, that we can move into that landscape, the inner being. And we can notice what's speaking to us, what's lighting up, what needs more attention. And it's all a practice, just showing up for yourselves each and every day and whatever that looks like, whether it's sitting with breath for just a couple minutes, being present while we're eating, cooking, walking, whatever it is, gently releasing here, rocking the knees, wet right to left. Hugging the knees to the chest, rocking here. And rocking onto one side and pressing up here. We'll prepare for grasshopper pose. And this is the posture we will be using our blocks, coming onto all fours and then bringing our forearms to our blocks. We're going to add the toe stretch. So go ahead and curl the toes under. And as you bring your palms together, start to shift the hips back towards the heels, forehead towards the mat and see if we might be able to bring our thumb to the base of the neck in our prayer hands. So if this is not comfortable for the shoulders, you don't have to use the blocks here and you don't have to take the toe stretch. It's just an added sensation here. You can also keep your arms long and take a traditional child's pose if that feels better. So noticing the sensation here through the forearms, the upper chest, the shoulders.
And breathing into the sensations, observing the body, observing the tissue, noticing if we do have that toe stretch, how the feet feel. And even in the midst of change, push in the pool, can we find that inner stillness, the anchor of our being, our groundedness to earth. And releasing the arms, lifting the hips, coming back onto all fours, untucking the toes, little taps at the tops of the feet here. And then we'll take a child's pose, taking traditional if you'd like, or you can walk the knees in slightly and wrap the arms around the outside of the legs here, forehead softens. And then gently release the arms, pressing back up. We will prepare for sleeping swan, a hip opener here. So coming onto all fours, the right knee behind the right wrist, shimmying that shin towards the front of the mat here. And then staying upright for a couple breaths if you want to work into that back bend, or you can slowly start to make your way into that fold. Feel free to use that block here to support the forehead. If you feel like that right hip is high off the floor and you want to support it, please slide a block or even a towel or a blanket underneath so that the hip bones are level. And of course, if this is too much for the knee, you can come onto your back and take a figure four pose instead. So reclined pigeon. Breathing and softening, noticing where the edge is, 
laying the edge here, not too much, not too little, finding that inner middle ground, middle road. Slowly begin to release, walking the hands back. We're gonna move into our head to knee pose here. So shimmy onto that right hip and swing the left leg around. So we're coming into our hamstring stretch. You can bend that left knee, slide a prop underneath if you'd like, and then start to hinge from your hips and fold. So feel free to draw the chin towards the chest if that feels okay for the back and the neck. And then support yourself with blocks if you'd like to underneath the forearms. And long and slow breath here, just noticing sensation, lengthening in the back of the left thigh. So if the fold is not comfortable for the back, feel free to stay lifted. If you are folded forward, just start to notice the stretch through the back as well. Another couple breaths here. And on your inhale, slowly begin to walk the hands back. Coming into our windshield wiper, bending the knees, rocking them right to left. If you want to add that little twist here, feel free to do so. Bringing the upper body over to one side and then the other. And we come back onto hands and knees and we'll make our way onto our left side, left knee behind the left wrist, walking those right toes back. Frontal hip points level here or slide a prop underneath the left hip. Feel free to stay lifted in our swan or move into sleeping swan with the forward fold. Again, coming onto the back if that feels better for your knee. So as we get deeper into our practice, you'll notice sometimes that I cue a little bit less. And that's because, you know, moving into these deeper states of relaxation or awareness, we can really start to cultivate that meditation. And 
And so if we feel like we need something for the mind, if we're having a mind oriented day or monkey mind day, feel free to work with your breath and visualization. So we're going to slowly, slowly start to release here, walking the hands back. Coming into our hamstring stretch, swinging that right leg towards the front of the mat. Keeping the knee bent if that feels okay. Left foot towards the inner thigh and folding here if it's comfortable for the back. So when I say working with the breath and visualization, meaning we might breathe and send the breath to certain areas of the body and you can even visualize it as color you can visualize the body releasing and softening even visualizing the tissue there's lots of ways to meditate so finding what works for you on any given day, knowing that your yin practice or your yoga practice in general will change based off of where we are mentally, emotionally, what time of day, all the things. And then slowly release here, bending the knees, tick-tocking the knees right to left. And so just being okay with that, that sometimes if we are a little bit more monkey mind, in the state of monkey mind, that it's okay. That's why we practice the cultivation, is that we just practice, but it doesn't have to be perfect. All right, let's make our way onto our backs. We're gonna keep our knees bent here, use our block once again, press through the feet, lift through the hips, slide your block underneath the sacrum for our bridge on a block. Option here to keep the feet rooted to the earth or you can come into shoulder stand on a block or waterfall pose. So the legs will lift and you'll notice that micro bend through the knee. So just keep the legs nice and soft and then try to relax the shoulder blades, relax the back of the head. Notice where it feels comfortable for the hands. Maybe the palms rest on the rib cage or belly, or you might rest your arms beside the body and the palms face up. Find some stillness here in whatever variation you choose to be in, whatever feels good for your low back. And it might feel nice to close the eyes if you're comfortable with that here. The legs are lifted, go ahead and slowly start to bend the knees, bring the feet down. And then pressing through the feet and lifting through the hips, releasing our block. We'll hug the knees to the chest, rocking here, right to left. Moving our way into our twist, letting the knees fall to the right, reaching out with the left arm. Knees in line with the belly button or a little bit higher. 
And of course, use a block here if there's space between the knees or underneath the knees. And then let the back of the head be soft or gazing over left fingertips. And inhale, draw the knees to center. And the exhale, the knees fall to the left, reach out with the right arm. Inhale, bring the knees through center. Take that final happy baby pose if you'd like to. You might find a little bit of movement here if that feels good. Rocking right to left or extending one leg and then the other. Just kind of moving like a baby would. And when you feel complete in our physical practice, we'll begin to set up for our master pose, Shavasana. So today I will be using two blocks underneath the knees just to support the low back. Feel free to grab a prop here as well or keep the legs extended long. You might also keep the knees bent in constructive rest pose, whatever feels good. Let's begin to soften and relax in our master pose, letting the practice go, releasing the doingness, releasing the activity of the practice and simply moving into that beingness the state of just being Staying just as you are or starting to reawaken by wiggling the toes, the fingers, the ankles, the wrist. Reaching the arms overhead, taking a full body stretch. 
letting the knees hug into the chest. As we rock onto one side and press ourselves up through our seated posture, concluding our class. Arms reach high on an inhale, scooping all of our inner light and grounding it into our being. Thank you all so much for joining me today for this very special practice. I wish you all peace, love, and light on your journeys. Thank you. If you enjoy meditation music or guided meditation, please check out my sister channel, Mindful Meta, listed in the description below. Thanks so much, everybody.